Governor Samuel Autumn explained that the meeting is meant to further sensitize the headsmen and officially intimate the national leadership of Mieti Alaka to Breeders Association of Nigeria on the anti grazing law in the state and its takeoff date of 1st November. Governor Autumn reiterated that there are no grazing reserves in the state and that no free land for grazing, hence, the only option was to go for ranching. The governor said the law has come to stay and it will be implemented as scheduled. However, he he said the law will have a human face in its implementation. Because of the implementation of this law, it will be given to a human face uh, so that uh, all of us have to be. He called on the national leadership of Mieti Alaka to Breeders Association to sensitize their members more and cooperate with him to ensure the success of the law, adding that the law will not victimize anyone but will protect all parties. In his remarks, the national president of Mieti Alaka to Breeders Association of Nigeria, al Haji Mohamed Kiru, was said, as an association, they are willing to support a policy that will bring about peace in not just the state but the nation in general. al Haji Kiru Wawukli they have not been part of the process, said they are now convinced that the law is not against them. He however requested for more time so as to meet with their members and discuss with them with the view to accepting the law. Uh, we can now be rest assured that uh, this law also, the Secretary of the Association, al Haji Baba Utman Gadzama, shared the same opinion with his president. In a certain time, the new society, the Shijam Gulachu Gomna, the Shugaman Sarapuna, the result chief Edward Jege, who spoke on behalf of the social cultural groups of Benue State, said the law was called for by the people of the state and the people want the law to be implemented as scheduled. He said failure to implement the law as scheduled will have consequences. In Makodi, Naomi Ishakubugo, Liberty News.